everybody, it's Greg here to do your tarot reading for Monday the 8th of December 2014. Let us have a look at what's coming up for you in the new week. And what you'll be working with and how you'll be starting out. Okay, so we've got three women. Yesterday we had three men. Today we've got three women. So three men is about obviously that masculine energy and yesterday was about creating that innocence and that sense of purity for yourself today it's about receiving something and let's have a look at what that is the first card is the princess of wands in reverse okay so you can see this princess here she's she's waiting for a lover basically she's got these red roses she's got the letters i love you you know where are you and she's looking out romeo romeo wherefore art thou romeo and this is in reverse. And what this means is you're not waiting for anybody. You know what you're passionate about and you don't need anybody else. This is like the opposite of Juliet, you know, who's kind of a little bit needy, who's waiting for someone to complete her, all of that stuff. You're, and please, Rome, uh, Juliet fans, please don't tell me, you, you know, that she was actually a self-empowered feminist, whatever she may have been. But what I'm getting for today is that you do have that sense of empowerment and you can do things for yourself. It's just an example. I'm using it to illustrate that. Okay. So you're really self-empowered. You care passionately about something and you don't need to wait around. It's the right time to take action and you can do it. The next card is the seven of pentacles. And you can see a kind of very pregnant female there plucking an apple. And the seven is about harvesting and harvesting the good as a result of applying yourself and bringing together your forces so your passion to make things happen will really result in something good and it will allow you to not envy other people but it will allow you to create good for yourself so you don't need to constantly look outside of yourself this is really an interesting point because some people will have you know abundance and wealth and all of those things but they will always look outside of themselves and they will say well I don't have that and I don't have that therefore I am not rich and they won't feel rich even though they have a lot and some people will have a, a house and a car and they will say that is amazing you know and I've been working for that for years and I really feel so blessed for having having that and they don't look outside themselves doesn't matter what it looks like in reality but the person who's grateful for what they have will feel richer and will be much richer and because they tap into that feeling they then create more abundance in their life and what this is saying is that you receive that feeling from the universe by tapping into your passion by getting motivated by harvesting your good that you apply yourself and you can really um, create your own good on this day it's a really wonderful day of productivity and real um, positive outcome and 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 you know um, harvesting that the fruits of your labors really so that's wonderful court cards are one so one and seven is eight eight and six is fourteen one and four is five and five is freedom you can create your own freedom by being creative and by not waiting for anybody else but making it happen for yourself have a fantastic day. If you'd like a private reading with me, please visit my website and I'll speak to you tomorrow.